Hi everyone, Wayne Allyn Welcome to Crush House Cappers. I'm your host. The media calls me the king of Vegas gambling and America's odds maker. And this show is for every type of sports gambler. Whether you like football, basketball, baseball, whether you're a big player, a high roller, bet 10000 a game, or a brand new gambler, an amateur, and you bet $10 a game, what matters is winning. And we give you the winners. All right, so every week we bring you an interview with a great sports handicapper, a legendary Vegas sports handicapper known all over the country. This week it's Chip Chirimbus. He's been a buddy of mine and a partner of mine in the sports handicapping business at various times for the last 35 years. He's known as the A play. He's always got the number one best play in every sport. Everyone in the business knows him and they know the A play. Chip Chirimbus, welcome to the Crush House Capper Show. Thank you, Wayne. It's glad to be with you again. All right, so today we want to talk about the state of sports in this nation. And, and I think there's a mess out there. There's a lot of problems. What's your take on it? Well, you know, ratings are down in uh, Major League Baseball, NBA as well. Um, you know, you might be able to say it has an effect of, from COVID. But, um, you know, baseball sometimes becomes just unwatchable, Wayne. If you realize that only one in three at-bats result in a ball being put in play, if you take away home runs, walks, and strikeouts. So um, that, you know, there is no more hit and run. It, it lends to the fundamentals are poorly being displayed day in and day out in Major League Baseball. And it's very difficult to watch right now. And I'm telling you, the ratings are showing it. The ratings are way down in Major League Baseball. And they're trying to gear up with all their gimmicks, seven inning games and runners on base. And, and um, I, I think baseball right now has sort of lost its way. And um, they have to put things together because it's feast or famine at the plate. It's a home run or a strikeout or a walk two out of three times. Well, you're, you're talking about baseball. You're focusing on one sport, but ratings are dramatically down in baseball, NBA, NFL. For the last right. three years, everything's dramatically down. And then you've got you know, issues like a player like Richard Sherman. Just over the last two days, the, the videotape is out now. It's a disaster to see exactly. these guys. I mean, just disaster. Their extracurricular, well, off-the-field actions uh, you know, are just bad news, bad image for sports. And, and I would argue one more thing, Chip. So, you know, and forget about whether you're a conservative, a liberal, a Republican, a Democrat. Who cares? Sports are not about politics. They're about running away from politics. Biggest mistake sports has ever made is getting involved in politics. Shut up and play the game and stay out of politics. Because no matter what you say, you turn off half the people. That's a tragic mistake because half the people pay for the tickets. You're losing people. You're bleeding customers. Stay out of politics. Totally. That's my answer. Well, you know, in Major League Baseball, they said chicks dig the long ball, and the NBA's taken that up. They've gone to 41 three-point shots a game, and this carpet bombing, it's like watching horse. I think that has part to do with the ratings going down in NBA. And I also think that um, it's a black and white issue. And I don't mean race. I mean, every time I turn on an NBA game, one team is in white, one team is in black, not even wearing their team colors. And it's hard for me Ooh. to recognize and to, uh, to really be drawn to a club that I, I don't recognize in the uniforms because uh, everyone's nowadays gone to the gray and black uniforms. And I'd rather see their traditional colors, to tell you the truth. And um, I think visually on TV now, it it's, doesn't have the same attraction it's had, in, had before. Um, the selfishness of a lot of players uh, comes to the forefront, but you see the teams that win are teams that share the ball like the Bucks are doing right now as well as the Phoenix Suns. And the NFL seems immune to it, Wayne. I mean, you had the Sherman incident and, yet, and seven arrests in the offseason for um, gun and violations, and yet I believe this season, after being, you know, astray for the last year, I think football is coming back big time. I think the people are looking forward to it. Um, it's already receiving higher ratings in the summer than um, the Major League Baseball and the NBA shows. So uh, um, everyone's looking forward to it. I think the NFL will survive uh, much more readily than Major League Baseball, which has is going to have a um, you know a new contract with the Players Association and basketball, which always seems to be in turmoil, but uh, survives. All right. Well, look, my big worry is COVID. I mean, that's still hard to believe. I thought it was gone. And, and we're back to this again here in Las Vegas today, literally, as we record this podcast. Today was the U.S. national basketball team playing an Olympic tune-up against Australia. And I was going with my 17-year-old son uh, sitting in the front row. And guess what happened? Canceled due to COVID. So how often is this going to happen again to sports? How is this going to affect sports? Not good. 
Not good. Let's hope by fall it's better as opposed to worse. Because if they play right. in front of empty stadiums again, this is going to be a disaster. All right, let's right. get one more thing out of you, Chip. A pick, a winner, a point spread winner in the NBA playoffs for this weekend. Well, you know, Wayne, I always look to um, for the illogical play. Now we have um, Phoenix that wins a pair at home, Milwaukee that wins a pair at home for the third time after being down 0-2. And they're going to Phoenix. But, you know, I hate to say it. I'm sort of like the Antichrist. I think most of the action and, and the favoritism here and people are going to be gravitate toward the Suns in spite of Chris Paul. But uh, I'm going to sit there and take the Milwaukee Bucks. I think that all of a sudden the Greek has just emerged to the point of where he's unstoppable. He can't handle him. If, he's not, uh, if he doesn't have to shoot from the outside and he can sit and drive that hoop and either drop it off or score, I like the Milwaukee Bucks Saturday. It's funny how gambling, you know, the average person watches a game and they don't, if they're not gamblers, they don't understand what's going on as far as a gambling perspective. I watched the end of that Suns-Milwaukee game a couple of days ago in Milwaukee, that, set, that fourth game. And uh, it was amazing how it was tied with just like a minute to go and Milwaukee laying four and a half points. The odds at that point of them covering the spread were certainly not zeros, but certainly remote. Certainly very good odds. You got no shot if you got Milwaukee minus four and a half. Next thing I look up, it's Milwaukee by four, Milwaukee by six, and then Milwaukee has covered, which is seconds to go. They ran Phoenix out of the stadium. So it was just interesting from a gambling perspective. If you laid the points like I did, you got a miracle win, a miracle spread cover, because I thought I had zero chance with about a minute to go in the game. So gambling is very different than watching a game just as a fan. Very different animal. Right. Yeah, I, I like uh, I like this Phoenix team. I really do. Maybe they can win and not cover here, but the home team has been dominant in this series. All right. Chip Cherimbus likes uh, Milwaukee in this game to uh, to pull the upset on the road. So far, home team 2-0, home team 2-0. Now he's taking the road team. Kind of a, kind of a switch for Chip Cherimbus. You get all the good winning edge right here at VegasWinners.com on your Crush House Cappers podcast. Great to have you with us, Chip. Thank you, Wayne. Appreciate it. All right. I'm your host, Wayne Alaroot. It's great being with you every week here on Crush House Cappers. Remember, we got a whole series. It's Crush House, it's Crush House Cappers, and it's Crush House Legends. Tune in to all of them online. Great stuff. Podcasts, all sponsored by my company, VegasWinners.com. Thank you to Chip Cherimbus for being a great guest today. And remember, always, every moment of the day, you get free winners. How do you do it? Right now. Just go to VegasWinners.com and just sign on. You register one time and you get free winners forever at VegasWinners.com. You also see all of our podcasts there and you also get a chance to win prizes like hanging out in Vegas with your favorite sports handicappers, uh, Wayne Root, Chip Jeremis, the whole team. We'll hang out with you. We'll break bread with you. We'll watch some games with you and you'll experience Sin City like very few ever have. All of that is waiting for you at VegasWinners.com. Until next week, just win, baby.